Hey everyone, Reed here. Today I want to discuss a great way to utilize the new Dynamic Titles option in Power BI by applying those dynamic titles to your Report Tooltips pages. You can leverage DAX to include filtered values in the title itself, avoiding the need to create separate cards which could take up unnecessary space on the Report Tooltips page. So let's hop into Power BI and get started. So just to give you an example of that image you saw earlier in action, if I come over here to this chart, you can see that all of these values here do include a title on the Report Tooltips page that is showing a filtered number based off of the filter context here. So that title includes that value that I don't have to have on a separate card in there. Now if you're curious how I actually made these Report Tooltip pages, I will link you here to the other video that will show you how I did that, but otherwise let me show you how I added the dynamic title to that. So I'm going to come over here to my Tooltip page, there we are. And if I click on the visual itself and I come up here to the Format Painter on the right and go down to Title, you'll notice that there's a little f of x symbol in here. And I'm going to go ahead and say revert that back to default for now. So this is what we're used to. We're used to just seeing something where you can type in a title and that's what's displayed. But notice the ellipses up here in the upper right. Now if I select that, I have an option to say Conditional Formatting. Now if I select that here, that pops up a window that then lets me choose a DAX measure. And in this case, I'm going to search for title. And I have something called sales amount quarter title. So I'm going to select that. And what that does is that displays the text that is being created inside of this DAX measure. So that is what you're seeing here that is creating that title in here. Now adding that is fairly simple. The magic kind of comes into play when you actually set up the measure itself and the logic that is going into that. So if I come up to my measures folder over here, and again, if you're curious how I made this DAX measures folder, you can link to this video over here that will show you how to make this measures folder you see here. But otherwise, let's go ahead and open this up. And if I expand this out, there's my sales amount quarter title here. Now if I click on this, go ahead and zoom in on this text up here. Make that a little bit bigger. There we are. Now what this is, is this is the formula for that quarter title that you see. Now what I've done is I've created a concatenated series of information in here. So let's break each one of these down. So to start with, I'm going to go ahead and talk about this. Now because I am converting all of this to text, I do need to wrap that sales amount value in a format. That's just to make sure it's formatted correctly to include the dollar symbol and all of those in here. But that's what's happening on this end is it's going to take that sales amount. It will take whatever filter is coming from that other page and format it. And as well, it's going to concatenate in the text information that I want, which is sales by quarter and year here. And that information then finally ends with a unicar character, which is just the symbol that if I close this, you can see that here, just a little calendar symbol that I have in the corner, just to add a bit of extra visual polish in there. So that's really it. It's just a series of concatenated values that I have in here to create a title that also includes the actual number in there, which is giving us that effect where if I come back to the chart page, and I'm hovering over any of this, you can see that that number changes and filters. So I really like to do this because it allows for kind of a cleaner interface on that tooltip section. And it's a fun way to use those dynamic titles to include it in a single visual rather than needing multiple visuals on that report tooltips page. And that about covers it for this video. If you like this video, please click or smash that like button. And if you have anything to say about this video or have a suggestion for a future video, please add that to the comment section below. And if this is your first time watching one of my videos or you want to see more of them, please click that subscribe button. And otherwise, I will see you in our next video.